Hey guys, Scott Devine here from Scott's Bass Lessons and today we're going to be talking about bass chords and I'm specifically going to be showing you some of my favourite voicings and some of them are really easy to get under your fingers as well so you're definitely going to want to check them out and some of them for you more advanced players are a little challenging too just in terms of the stretch and stuff like that but they're not all crazy, they're not all crazy so stick around. Before we get into playing any chords, I also just want to take this time to give the entire music online community a massive shout out and a huge hug for all of the support that I've seen happening over the last couple of weeks um, between everybody online. I know it's a super, super hard time right now. Um, there's a lot of people going through a lot of crap. So massive shout out to all of you guys. Now, without further ado, let's talk about bass chords. And specifically in these examples, what I'm gonna do is use a really simple chord sequence to show you some different voicings around, okay? The chord sequence is F sharp minor seven, okay? And don't worry, I'm gonna show you, show you the fingerings and stuff, to a B dominant seven, to a E major seven, okay? It's called a two five one in the key of E major. It's all you need to know, right? This is kind of, uh, you know, white bread two five one. You'd probably just, you know, I've played it like this a million times, okay? And all you do for the for the first chord is second finger on the F sharp, third finger on that E down there, and then your little finger on the uh, the A at the top. Or you could play it finger one, finger two, and finger three as well, okay? And the next chord, the B dominant seven, is a B, an E flat, and an A, or a root, a three, and a seven, okay? And then the next chord, the major seven chord, is an E. It's uh, got that cool D sharp there, the seven. And then we've got a major seven, I mean a major third on top, okay? So we're gonna keep these two chords the same. And we're just gonna change this final chord, okay? And then we're gonna do the same with the others. So this first chord is the major seven chord, right? So this is the first version of it. Another version that I really, really love is this. That chord there, I just love it. It's just an E major nine chord, right? So we play the root open. We've got a second finger on the five, little finger on the nine, and the uh, first finger here on the third. For you guys with bigger hands, you can also play it like this. And you could, then you could take this second finger off and bar this and play it as a minor nine. I'm gonna show you that voice in a minute, okay? The next one I wanna show you is, again, it's got this really cool crunchy, it's got that at the top. So if I play that as on its own, kind of sounds, you know, fruity, to say the least. But if I put this chord, this note in here, and then the lower E, it sounds beautiful, right? So that in context is gonna sound F sharp, B7, Again. So we've got the root is on top here, the major seven with a little finger, third with the middle finger, and then open E. Or you can play the open E with your third finger. That's a bit of a stretch though. Now you adv advanced guys, you might want to do this because you might want to move it around. You might want to play, you know, something like this. It's always good to be able to move them around, right? Because then you transpose them. That's the first two. Now I want to give you another alteration for the uh, that major as well. And this is probably one of my real favorites, right? So you've got the F sharp minor again, the B7, and then... Oh, I love that one. So this is, it's like a major nine again. We've got the, the root, we've got the nine, so you get that crunch, right? So you got the root, the nine, the seven on top, and then the lower E. Beautiful. So again, 
Just run through the three. And then we've got. And then the final one. So just before I told you about that, you know, I gave you an example of that major there, the major nine there, and I said if you move your finger off, you get that minor nine there, with that crunch at the top. Well, we can use that voice in for the F sharp minor, right? Let's check it out. You got F sharp, we've got the five, we've got the nine, and then you bar that, and with right down here, I'm holding on that note with that part of the index finger, okay? So the entire voicing sounds like this. If that sound is kind of like, you've got like a, a familiar, oh yeah, I've heard that before. It's probably from this. So you can use that minor nine there for the F sharp. So let's play now, let's play. Sounds cool, right? Now we've done the alterations for the major chord and we've shown you that, that cool minor chord there. I've got a few different ones for the dominant chord that I really like, okay? I wanna share three. Let's just look at the original. So that was our original dominant chord. We can add a flat nine to that and it's gonna sound mega, okay? So root, third, and flat nine on top there. So just a semitone up from the root. That sounds great, okay? So let's listen to this. Yeah, this is real sneaky, okay? We can swap these two notes around so we can put the root on top and then the flat nine on the bottom. So it's the same notes, but upside down. Crackers, right? Oh. Let me just show you that again, okay? It's too good. And then the last one that I want to show you again, it's another really simple one for the dominant chord. It's instead of playing the root three and flat seven, I want you to play the root three and the sharp five. Oh, because it just wants to do that. <laughs> so if you hear that in context, oh. So that is your bass chord fill for the day. Remember you can put it in all different keys and stuff like that as well. You should experiment with this stuff. And if you wanna, if you're a member of scottsbasslessons.com, remember we've got a massive chords course with all of this and more, I think it's like six hours long. Actually, as I mentioned earlier, if you have been thinking about becoming a member at scottsbasslessons.com, now is the absolute time to do it um, because there's a, a crazy offer on and you can get a membership and I think it equates to like $2.40 per week. Uh, so it's, it's ridiculous, but it does finish tomorrow. In fact, I think if today's Friday, right? I think today's Friday. So if today's Friday, it ends tomorrow. It is gone tomorrow so check it out scottsbasslessons.com and when you you know when you join check out the chords course it's absolutely incredible um, and you'll have a ton of fun with it anyway have a great weekend guys and as always take it easy and i'll see you in the shed